What's going down, people? TK coming at you. Heart's kind of heavy right now. And I wanted to come at you with solutions. Because a lot of people don't really target solutions in light of problems. We see the problems, but it's supposed to be a two-fold conversation. Problem, then solution. You know, we're being affected by the problem reaction solution or the chaos theory. And uh, people are being victimized by the PSYOP that is taking place worldwide. But solutions is a topic that needs to be on the forefront of people's mind. And in, in order to provide a solution, you really have to come to an understanding within your own maturity where you're ready to fix some issues. It's sort of like a drug addict that's hooked on some sort of controlled substance. You know, you can't really help that person until they're ready to help themselves. So if you think about everything that's in front of you, you know, within the economic controlled society of limited access, engineered scarcity, you're at a crossroads and you don't know that you're at a crossroads. If you tell the average person that the dollar has lost 98% of its purchase power, that uh, hyperinflation is at the cliff or around the next corner, that the economy itself is on the verge of collapsing, People will be like, whatever, I can still spend my dollar. I can still buy whatever I want to buy. Um, the, the numerology specifics of 33 million people um, being unemployed in this post or semi-post corona situation. And now you have this worldwide psyop of... Um, division and conquer distract division and conquer that's taking place simultaneously in multiple cities and multiple countries because now other uh, major economies have joined in Europe, London, Tokyo Paris so just top of your thought process top of your conversation piece if you say hey you need an alternative to the dollar because the dollar is losing its purchasing power the dollar is actually on the verge of collapsing people will be like that doesn't mean shit to me so if if i present to you gold silver and bitcoin as a solution to the economic downfall of the dollar it really doesn't mean anything to you if your financial IQ is that of a two-year-old, which unfortunately is the educational level when it comes to finance that most people walk around with. So it's, it's kind of like, how do you help someone, right? The, the, the concept is to help someone. And honestly, I probably can't help anyone because it's the drug addicted person analogy that I presented in terms of the person has to be willing to help themselves and be open to change. And you can't be open to change if you have a financial IQ of a two-year-old because it's like not understanding something that's never been presented to you. So if someone has never explained the foundation of our economic principles to you, when you hear Bitcoin, gold, silver, it doesn't resonate with you. Your education level and frequency that you exist on is beneath the comprehension level of a need 
for gold, silver, and Bitcoin. You just think about what you've been presented with up until this point, which is fiat currency. So the solution starts with education. And the education must begin with raising your financial IQ, getting to a understanding so that you find the reason for that need or justify even having a need for alternative forms of currency. So when we talk about alternatives, we can throw out examples like Hong Kong uh, creating their digital version of currency, the United States Congress talking about creating their version of digital currency. So the economic world or the uh, digital form of, of currency is coming right? The global community is changing to a digital form of currency, whether you understand it or not. You know, that's the saddest part about not knowing or not being interested in something. You don't find yourself immune to the repercussions of ignorance. If a baby touches a plate, they still get burned. So you not being interested in alternative forms of currency has zero effect on the way the world is changing and how the situation is evolving within our economy. So the digital economy will exist without you. You just won't know nothing about it and really won't be able to participate. And that's the unfortunate part about not being able to help the average person. You're probably going to watch this video and say, I don't know what the fuck you're talking about and keep going on with your chasing fiat paper form of uh, currency. But that form of currency is dying and is on a verge of collapse. So in my uh, YouTube videos on my channel, Master Wealth Builders, I said a long time ago, uh, indicators. You know, I talked about indicators a while back and I said, hey, you know, because, um, you know, if you say the dollar's collapse and people are like, what the fuck? There's no indicators. Yes, yes, it is. There's The writing's on the wall. The indicators are the countries that are making um, deals that circumvent the dollar, that are going around the, do the dollar hegemony, challenging the dollar hegemony. Um, also, digital currencies that's being sought after by countries. Those are indicators. And I said a long time ago that when you see the IMF start talking about replacing the world reserve currency or changing the world reserve currency, then pay attention. I said when you see uh, the, the House of Saud begin to fall apart, pay attention. When you see that the, uh, the petrodollar is... Uh, being circumvented, pay attention. So those are indicators. So the only thing I can encourage you, you know, I, I'm probably talking to myself, but you know what? It's therapy. So really the only person I can save is myself. And I have an obligation to my family and to my children to make these smart position moves to smartly position myself and my family so that we are not affected by the crash of the dollar and that we can um, effectively be abundant in Bitcoin, be abundant in gold and silver. So those are solutions. And that's what this video is entitled. It's entitled Solutions in terms of if I can help anyone other than myself then having an income in Bitcoin makes sense. To have gold and silver on auto ship every month makes sense. So these are things that are viable solutions to the economic downfall of the current paper that everyone is familiar with. So I only hope that you begin to open your mind 
to explore the possibility of change and actually think about getting Bitcoin, getting gold and silver on auto ship. That is a solution. It's a viable solution. It's an alternative form of currency, and it could save you when things begin to get worse. And I think that's where we are right now. We're at the cliff where things are going to get worse. And only those people who are in the new economy, in the digital economy, are going to make it. You know, the digital economy is real and it will take off with or without you. Um, They don't need your permission to change over to this new system. Um, There are a lot of corporate entities that are advancing this system. You know, there are Bitcoin debit cards. There are hot wallets and cold wallets that allow you to participate in Bitcoin. There are entire ecosystems now that allow you to conduct everyday transactions in Bitcoin. Like I said, you can generate an income in Bitcoin and make it to at least 100000 a year with strictly Bitcoin. So it's an effort worth pursuing. And it's a concept that some of you guys need to grasp before it's too late. 